the little okay. known, known younger sibling. Oh, hello, hello. People are here. Watch us. Hello, magical yes, friend. Karen. And welcome Nicole. to the Wednesday write in. <laughs> <laughs> are you using your radio voice on us? Maybe. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Did you get through everyone or did I completely derail you before you got to like Karen? and? I Nicole? think I got everyone. Hey, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> Hi, Chudney. Courtney, Chudney. Yes, radio voice. I had someone uh, email me today asking me to listen to their music which would have been very cool, except they were looking for WZRD Radio Chicago. <laughs> Aww. Which is not remotely the same thing. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Kaylee, you've been gone for a little while. Yeah, Took a little break heck, after Pitch Wars, I'm guessing. Probably needed a little break after Pitch Wars. Was Pitch Wars three weeks ago? The showcase was the 10th to the 15th, I think. How's everyone doing tonight? Have we asked that? How are you? What are y'all going to be working on today, too? Let us know. Well, I, for one, will be watching uh, the nice man putting cones out all down the street. That's my plan. <laughs> Which were stuff in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we are glad that you are here now. <laughs> I'll be working on um, the same scene I was working on last week, just uh, the second half of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long scene. Mm, not really. <laughs> Aww. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm teaching um, a ten dollar query letter class next week. So, hey, Victoria. I've heard that. Wait. Yeah. Some. Where's Lodestar? <laughs> He's got company. And possibly a challenger, depending on how fast you read. Oh no. Chinese editing, nice. Romancing the beat, nice. A giant what? Like a corpse? <laughs> or like a company? Hi, Felicia. Glad you could join us. Ah, so competition. Let's start to yeah. feel threatened. <laughs> Moon star and his reading habits. What else is there to talk about? Oh, corpse. Okay, good. I was right. Haha. -ha. What else is there to talk about? The problem is, I talk to you like constant. What's going on? Uh, there's there's a post, and they're just like. <laughs> I'm not sure what the end goal is. Sorry. <laughs> I just see like like the ADHD filter go over. <laughs> <gasps> All it right. Hey, Bert light. and Kimberly, Karen, Jay. <sighs> oh, Kaylee, why would you? Are you I, I downloaded the app uh -huh. <laughs> and I followed a couple people and I watched like three videos and then I haven't been on it since. So, hey, Lauren. Like, I don't know, it just like stresses me out trying to think about creating for it. So, yeah, creating for it seems like a lot like of work. Lot. <laughs> hey, hello, you have to leave. No, Karen wants to know how they're doing. No, it's Paris, my mom, my parents' dog. And yesterday she came in here and I showed her to my coworker and she peed on me and then pulled my laptop off the stand. So, 
So you don't want to do a repeat because I'm totally not for seeing Paris. Uh, Jay, at that point, that's just a book. That's a first draft. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, oh, wait, we're guessing. Sarah, we have to guess. All right, don't tell us yet. Uh, what? Gra I don't. Look, I know that she volunteered to um, moderate a panel at the Orlando Book Festival. Oh, is we, that it? That's so cool. We talked 20 minutes ago about that. Um, I'm going to guess that you also made corn flavored ice cream. Oh. All right, who's writer? <laughs> who's writer? Oh, did you drink some water? <laughs> did you Ooh, drink that's also a really good guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are all great guesses. Oh, yeah. Jennifer is also going to moderate a panel at OBS as well. Oh. Is that the thing? That is a very good nice. thing. Nice. Very cool. My mom and her sisters are planning a trip together because they're all going to be mm. vaccinated by like the end of the month. So for like August, they're all very excited. My friends are like, you could probably get a vaccine, but you have to have like a, a note from your doctor, I think, for high risk, whatever things. Yeah, but, like but, it's but, still like for 60s and older. My primary care doctor... Oh yeah, I'll answer that question. My primary care doctor um, left the state right after the pandemic began, and so I don't have a primary care doctor anymore. Oh no! So I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Um, Orlando Book Festival is April third. Um, and let me just drop the link for you so you can see all the information. Yeah, it is not easy to do this. But it's older. Yeah. Well, there, like you can have very like conditions you can get a doctor's note for and get it, but they don't yeah. for it. Like make super it easy. high risk and sixty and older. Uh, I follow report local reporters who tweet this stuff, and that's how I get my information. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about the book festival. Uh yeah. So our opening keynote is going to be. Angie Thomas. Yes, that's very exciting. In conversation with Ayana Gray, who's a friend of mine and the author of the book coming out in the fall, and also the 2021 20, Pitch Wars director. And our closing keynote is Alyssa Cold, who is a mystery and oh, romance cool. author. Mystery? Yeah. Never well, her heard last book that came out was mystery. Huh. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so if you go to that link that I posted, um, all the other, all the panels will be um, public except for Angie Thomas's talk and you'll have to pre-register to get the link for that, but you don't have to be like a library card holder or whatever. You can just skip the library card part. You just have to put in more bare, more than the bare minimum effort to prove that you are not a troll. Yeah. Everybody and doing just make Friday? sure you type your email correctly. I have signed up for so many classes at the library this month. Since Sarah reminded me that I was not signed up for the uh, library newsletter, I fixed that. And uh, some regrets. Oh. <laughs> no regrets. Um, yeah. Some so hopefully you'll come to the book festival. I'll be on YouTube, on the library's YouTube. But like I said, the. Um, Ooh, Kaylee just followed me on TikTok. I didn't realize I got TikTok notifications on my watch. I'm going to have to turn that off. Is that what the noise was? Did you hear a buzz? I heard something. Oh, okay. Do we have anyone who, here who is new, by the way, before we get started? Um, feel free to chime in. I feel like our regulars always just chime in, but if anyone can comment. No, you like, don't have to have a library card. Andy. Yeah. You can just register without Angie, the card. My dear friend, Angie. Mm -hmm. We had a tech test with her yesterday. And she's just like, she's so friendly and nice. I was like, I, I told her, I was like, I'm so used to seeing your face on screen for like panels and stuff um, that I feel like I know you, but I know that I don't know you. <laughs> uh, for classes. For classes, you do need a card. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> and we can talk about my underground illegal library card ring after this break.
<laughs> All right, is everyone ready? I'm gonna add this. My dog is panting because it's almost chicken time. It's chicken uh, o'clock. <laughs> All right, uh, on your mark, get set. Right.
And that's time, everyone. The first sprint is complete. You're muted. <laughs> I was ready for that one. Just not that ready. I guess. Almost. <laughs> I liked the head wobble. That was particularly good in, in silent film. Well, you you remembered the important bit. <laughs> oh, man. How did everyone do? I got 177 new words. Nice. So that's fine. <laughs> that is very satisfactory. Don't you start. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> that Laura enjoyed my sad face. <laughs> How'd you do? Uh, great. I found a bunch of events and started tweaking my script. All right. <laughs> See, you did great. 177 words, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did get a little distracted by Twitter. Not TikTok? No, it's only on my phone, which is over there. I don't know. Can you even go on TikTok in a browser? I don't know. I know nothing about TikTok. You can, but it's not good. <laughs> oh, okay. Kaylee Yay! did wonderful. Oh, thanks, Karen. <gasps> Bert. Bert. Is the nudge email just like a reminder? Yeah. And if it is, do you use the phrase friendly reminder? Because it stresses me out when people do that in professional settings. Because when it's not in a professional setting, it's never nice. They're like, just a friendly reminder, you're a huge jerk. And so seeing, you know, like uh, my writing groups, like presently, be like, just a friendly reminder. I'm like, oh, God. Uh, no. And so it's like, our meeting is Sunday, but it, it does not have the same vibe. <laughs> Everyone's going to your class. Oh, thanks, Kaylee. Cool. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> okay. Now, the important thing is, do you think you're going to regret this? Because sometimes old friends from high school uh, are not the same person. Or do you think it's going to be like, awesome like movie drama fabulous reuniting against the odds oh okay <laughs> don't be afraid I no be afraid to that's do. totally reasonable don't definitely, be afraid definitely be afraid there's nothing wrong with feeling a wide range of emotions <laughs> i love that thanks laura i will yeah um someone sponsored three last time and then someone else offered to sponsor more but we actually only had three people claimed it so um yeah thank you that's really cool is the writing god sarah no absolutely not <laughs> are you sure <laughs> do not put that on me that that sounds like a sarah sacrifice if ever i heard one. Oh, that is a good sacrifice for me, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Right. sarah is the writing god i'm putting that on twitter no, 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 no. My family sends things with like four and five exclamation marks or, you know, ellipses at the end. And it's, mm. it makes their text so intense. They're like, I can't wait for lunch tomorrow. But then there's five exclamation marks and you're like, I'm not ready for this level of commitment. <laughs> no, nudge toward Kaylee. <laughs> oh, there was some punctuation missing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Courtney. You know, I took all the classes before I was ready to do things. So then by the time I was ready to do things, I was like, eh, I have all the information I need. Aww. Aww. Everybody wants to sponsor. This is so nice. <laughs> that is, that's so ominous. Just letting mm -hmm. you know you will die in seven days. Like that's how that sentence is supposed to end thematically. This is not, I'm not great at punctuation. I use commas like confetti, but I don't do this. Ooh, Dude. I have a great one for you, but it's not until October. <laughs> I just signed someone uh, to, to come and talk to our writing group in October about, 
Hi, Jasper. If I yell loud enough, it'll go straight out your ear to him. Wine and chocolate. A wine and chocolate would be good. Apparently, I have to feed the cat chicken. Athena, I have yours. Yeah, take all the classes while they're there. And then in the future, be like, I remember that. I took that. <gasps> that would be such a good Twitter handle. Oh, I should have had that for my TikTok username. I had some, I couldn't find a TikTok username. Apparently, there are other Sarah Nicholases out there. Rude. I don't think so. That seems like a lie. They're all pretending to be you because they know that you are uh, Sarah the Writing God. And someone took my Instagram name too, President Sarah. Who else is President Sarah? Rude. No one. <laughs> uh, the dog is 60 pounds, so no, I won't be showing him. And he left. Um, and it's chicken time. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, that it's a little far away. <laughs> okay, like, really? Hmm. I wonder which one when it that was. was. A couple months ago. Oh, okay. <gasps> what if he fought them to the death? Then you would have content for your TikTok. Come here. Come here. I hear Athena Bina. <laughs> She just tried to jump on her tree and almost fell off. It's over here. Come here. I'm broadcasting, by the way. Look. Right here. Who is that? Oh my gosh. My mom. Does she sound exactly like me? Oh my gosh. Well, that's Athena. That one I know for sure. She's. Demanding her chicken be served to her in her usual spot. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm having that problem with my uh, WZRD radio, which I knew going in. They've been there for years. Yeah, so I don't have the same username on like any platform. Um, you know what's really helpful? Having a name that hasn't been popular for 400 years. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with Sarah, especially. It's like, um, so there's like the the class, the way that names work their way through the classes, right? So like mm -hmm. names us will usually become popular in the upper classes first and then work their way down. And then when they're, when they're popular in the lower classes, the, high, the upper classes don't want to name their children that. But like Sarah is like the opposite. Like everyone just names their children Sarah all the time for like <laughs> centuries in any class. <laughs> so. so what should Sarah change their name to? I have thought about if I do need to use another pen name using like Nick, like N-I-C for my middle name. Um, oh, it's almost time. Everybody do this while Sarah tells us yeah. what they're thinking, and we all come up with a good new name for Sarah. But now I'm also dating someone named Nick, so that's weird. <laughs> that'd be so cute. It'd be like Nick and Nora, except it would be Nick and Nick. <laughs> um, yeah. Lara. What is that? That's a new name for you. And I know, but where does it come from? Yeah, that's your Kim. <laughs> Kaylee, have you been here for 30, 40 minutes and not realizing that was Kimberly? <laughs> it's Kim in the comments and I did not know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted to be Liz for a while. I definitely tried to rename myself in middle school because there are like so many people named Sarah. I think but... it's just a middle school thing. Although mine yeah. was because everyone was calling me a cow. <laughs> You could be a Blake. Uh, you two are so funny. <laughs> Hello, Chandra. Oh my goodness. It's time. <laughs> my parents thought I was a boy, so. Ooh, we're doing name conversation afterward. This sounds like it's going to be fun. Everybody, oh, I guess gonna... stories about your own name. Oh gosh. Um, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> no, that's not right. Okay. There we go. Sorry, Beth. Okay. Um, what happened to my timer? 
There we go. Okay, on your mark. <laughs> Get set. Gun butt there. <laughs>
and seen. Hello. Aloha. I was looking to see if you got your mic this time. I remembered. <laughs> I took um, a bite of chip and came back to look at the, the timer. Mm -hmm. It said 15 seconds. <laughs> Good timing. I am at 478 words for the evening so far. So I think I got around 300 at the time, which is yeah. Excellent. a lot better. Yeah. I have all my events. Yay. <laughs> uh, and I'm sad that I'm not vaccinated because uh, a local brewery is doing a really cool thing in April, mm. but I will not be vaccinated by then. Wow. 284 for Kaylee, nice. 508 for Chandra, very nice. Chandra, that's amazing. <laughs> Chudney, proud of you. Hasn't popped up here yet, so I can't share it. There it is. Proud of you. <laughs> well done. So I got 337, nice. Good luck with that, Kimberly. <laughs> Oh, cool. Karen's taking care of business tonight. Sounds like a very successful evening all around, but especially for Karen. <laughs> 550 some words and an outline. I mean, that's longer than any outline I've ever written. So <laughs> it happens to the best of us. But was that application TikTok? <laughs> I think. I think it's a Dude, different kind of for too long. I start feeling bad about myself. Everyone on there has so much energy and editing capability. Yeah, that's the thing is I just don't have the energy. I'm like, I don't like, I need to save all the creative energy I have for my books. Yeah, I can watch like, you know, half an hour's worth in there, but then I don't look at it for another month. <laughs> I feel like all the good ones make their way to Twitter anyway. True. I use the Tumblr filter for a lot of the internet. Power nap. Wait, how did you take a nap if you signed up for those things? I'm confused. She had a very busy 20 minutes. Wow. Did you do those things while taking a nap? Yeah, that's Jay, not that's an outline, Jay. That's just a <laughs> book. Like you've got a novella. Stop that in a cover and publish. <laughs> The Tumblr filter is when you, like, I have never seen WandaVision, uh, but I've seen a lot of GIF sets of WandaVision and fan theories about WandaVision, and I think I might enjoy it better that way. Supernatural. There's so reading. World Stars here. Are you reading? You have a competitor. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. That was a good plan, Karen. I almost took a nap earlier. And then I completely failed to do so. <laughs> I do say GIF, and I do not have any quibble with anyone who does otherwise, but the inventor does say GIF, so I have a leg to stand on. Don't start with me. Instead, let's talk names. What did you want to be called in middle school? I have GIF. I say GIF. And that is your right. Oh, Jay mentioned earlier her name, her real name is Jamie. And the only other kid in her classroom, Jamie, was a boy. I had a sorority sister whose sister was named Jamie, and then she married a guy named Jamie. <laughs> it's a lot of Jamies. I do not like this fight. This is not one I am willing to enter into. Both I do think valid. it's stupid, but I also think this is wrong. So, <laughs> all right. I think the fight is stupid. Um, what was I going to? Oh, my coworker says water. For water. Um, so she's from Philly. It's like a Philly thing. Hey, love, and how did you know that Mike was from New York? Yeah. <laughs> how do you like people that say words funny? I introduced him to my friend Mike, and we were just talking about something, and then Mike says cash, and Kevin does like a violent double take. <laughs> it's like, are you from New York? <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, my my other friend is from Philly and she posted she got this water bottle that says water on it. It's from like some deli up there. 
I love so it. That's, that's what I got Marion for Christmas last year. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Oh, Karen. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I have another friend named Karen. She hates it, too. Yeah, my only issue was in middle school when we read some story with a cow named Bess. Oh. Um, so I was a cow for a while. Yeah, but... Bess is a common cow name in the South. Yeah, you don't really get it for a lot of humans. Yeah. I've only seen a couple others in my life. But it does make getting websites and uh, social media handles very easy. Mm-hmm. See, I love that. Do you call remote controls clickers? Well, that's just like a dad thing. Oh. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. This is useful for everyone who needs to name characters to start. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they hadn't talked about it beforehand. <laughs> I was almost mm. Haley, but then my aunt got there first. But see, you got dad energy if you're calling the mm. clicker. <laughs> my mom says clicker, too. She's got dad energy, too. Oh, yeah. Felicia's got a... I, mean, I do take great okay. delight in saying hi, Felicia, because of that. <laughs> With the <No>. eight. <laughs> I do. Fancy Rachel. <laughs> Coastal Magic Convention's real name is Jennifer. <laughs> it was good seeing you, Kaylee. Bye, Kaylee. Kaylee's going to be on Pop Talk Live this, the fourth Saturday of March. So heads up on that. Oh my goodness. These are shocking. Oh my gosh. Look at this. All these dads sneaking naming children. Yeah, I can see how that would be a problem. I have heard that there is a best fairy in um, Pixie oh. Hollow, but I have not seen her in the movies. How did he know? Did you give up like Laura vibes? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes name just works. <laughs> this is amazing. I had no idea there were so many cases of fathers secretly naming their children. Hmm. That's usually ends up on like relationship advice on Reddit. I, uh, my parents thought I was a, a boy until <laughs> I was born and then, um, so they didn't have a name pick for me and my dad just called me princess for three days and we had like a great grandmother named Sarah and they looked it up in the baby book and saw that it meant princess. So that's how I got my name. I love that. That's, that's really cool. Princess. And then people started calling me Jackie. <laughs> I mean, I guess there are worse people to be nicknamed after. How did she feel about the bye Felicia phase? Because <laughs> I, I respect her, her dedication to keeping you from being bullied. Uh, I'm just curious how she felt when people found a way to do something weird with the name anyway. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's almost time. This is the best conversation ever, though. Yeah, everybody do your spiders, and I'll keep reading your name stories. <laughs> the nurse just, like, had a baby book around because this happens a lot. <laughs> Mom, I'll roll time. I feel like my parents planned for my sister's name and did not plan for mine. Oh, Kim, a spider. <laughs> Spiders doing push-ups in a mirror. It's a, uh, uh, what's it called? Exercise? Purple tunnel exercise. <laughs> it's because I have delicate finger bones and Sarah is and helping me protect hands. them. If you pull them down. That's and the wiggle jiggle. It's time to go. I'm gonna put the 
the banner up first since Why Jennifer is, is always like worried. 40 about. seconds behind mine. This is very strange. I don't know. Uh, I have to figure out how to get this timer going again. I agree. We're doing that. All right. On your mark. Get set. Finish strong, y'all.
And that's time, everyone. Our final sprint is complete. I remembered to unmute. Sucks. Victory. I am at 8.43 for the evening. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I wrote a lot. You wrote 177 the first time and then totaled to 400 something the second time. So yeah, a lot. This 378. Do you like your I do not. Four sixty-five. Goodness, you should just keep this up for the rest of the evening. You are increasing. We um the main character's dog got loose, and they're chasing him through the neighborhood. So it is fast paced. So there's that. Let's see. Two sixty-five. Nice, Chudney. I had a couple when I was younger. Do they just get water was... from the air? Is that how they work? You spritz them like every couple oh. of weeks. I, I killed mine, so you know, get better information than me. But <laughs> nice that. Yeah, I went through a phase where I, I desperately wanted to fill my room with plants and could not keep a single one alive. <laughs> Bye. Very nice, Kaylee. Good night. Yeah. Now, quick question. Uh, you said Chan like Chandra like Jackie Chan. Sarah's been saying like Chandra. So is it a hard sh or a soft sh? This is important. Well, she said like Jackie Chan, so it would be yeah. Chan Chandra, right? Yeah. But I want confirmation on this before I start saying it one way or the other. Well, I'm glad you didn't. We would have missed you too. 1037, nice. Oh goodness. Nice 14, work, everyone. I am very proud of all of you. Foreigner what is written. a band that I have accidentally seen live twice. Oh, like accidentally both times? <laughs> Tell us everything. Uh, the first time it was when I was a security guard for Gaylord Palms and they were playing a convention that was there. Mm -hmm. And the second time they were at Universal and I just happened to be at Universal that day. Is there a way to see how much you've typed today in Word? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Not right. if it not if you didn't start a new document. Which I did not. Hard shot. Cool. All right, Chandra. I was right in my head, and I doubted myself, and I should never have doubted myself. Nice. Are, are you prepared to court the beat? It's still going to be 8 p.m. Eastern. And time doesn't change. Speaking your of your perception of time. time will change. <laughs> your perception of chicken time will change. Oh, Have yeah. Fun with that. Uh, you should tell us everything that's coming up. Oh, I don't know everything. Hold on, let me pull it up. Pop quiz. <laughs> it's not uh, a successful look, someone's going to script. I know on Saturday we have Pub Talk Live with Supriya Kelkar and Stacey Whitman. Um, and that's gonna be fun. Stacey Whitman is the publisher and founder of two books and also one of the founders of the CBC um, Diversity League Association. I can't remember what the designation is there. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it until the next write in. And then the Thursday after the next write in, we I have the query workshop class and then on the 21st i have agent chat live with andrea sonberg of harvey clinker and then on um the uh 27th i think is the next pop talk live date yes um it will be pitch wars 2020 mentees i think they're gonna hold the conversation over here i have yeah. no idea what that question meant which question is foreigner yes. hot-blooded? <laughs> yeah, foreigner things hot-blooded. Probably by default being mammalian, but <laughs> <laughs> um, are there? Do we have any regular like pub talk live viewers here? I know Jay and Jen. 
more uh, subject of rhetorical question. Um, well, yeah, I've just been having some thoughts lately about Pop Talk Live. I'm going to get some dangerous thoughts. Then. Having thoughts. Having thoughts. <laughs> um maybe like if people keep signing up for them yes <laughs> um i really like crowdcast's platform um and i mainly signed up for the first one so that i could try it and i think it's good but it is a little expensive so um sorry the scratching noise sorry <laughs> um so i can only really keep doing it if people keep um so if people like them, yes, I'll keep doing them. Okay, so my thoughts were, so I try to focus on guests that have like some sort of publishing knowledge that's not, that's, um, how do I say? So I don't want to say it's not someone who's just an author, because that sounds like terrible, because being an author is hard, but like someone who has some kind of insight into a particular process in the publishing industry, right? Um, but I also think there's value in like hearing authors journey stories, right? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about maybe doing, splitting it up where one a month is more author journey focused and one is more publishing focused, like I have been doing. I don't know if y'all would be interested in that. Good night, Chani. Could you hear the scratching noise? What it sound like? Yeah, it was fun. If I knew where my microphone was, I would duplicate it, but I don't. Oh. But uh, people seem excited. Okay. And the other thing is I get a lot of contact by a lot of authors who want to be on the show who otherwise wouldn't be, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. It sounds like y'all like it. All right. So I'll start thinking about that. We I have a book through the end of April, so it would start in May. Um, you like my voice? Oh, thank you. I don't, I feel like nobody really likes their voices except for narcissists. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking about, should I call it something different or should I call it the same thing? Would it be confusing? Because I already have two different things under the podcast. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. It would be like maybe a slightly different format. Maybe we wouldn't be, need, I don't know how, well, let me know how y'all feel about this. I was thinking maybe we wouldn't do news on those days or we could still do news. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I like this collaborative uh, yeah, creation this approach. Is, this is why I love everyone. <laughs> you know what's really funny, Jay? I was thinking the other day about I don't know, maybe on the anniversary or something, doing like a reverse pub talk live where I have maybe like two pubbers come on and interview me. <laughs> that would be so cool. I think it would be cool too. I love that idea. I think it would be fun. But and you know, fun Laura enough. would have lots of experience uh, being on your channel already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. You like the news part? <laughs> All right, everybody Tell likes me. news, and I like Jay's idea. Okay, yeah. So it could just be the interview portion that changes up a little bit. I am also thinking about adding one to three different podcasts. I don't know. I was just like one I'm, to three. I have so many ideas and I don't know what to do with them. So I'm just letting them all simmer for a minute. Sarah, <laughs> you already need more sleep. I know, <laughs> but but my body won't give me sleep. So, <laughs> so rest. I think Sarah said that in the exact same tone I did. <laughs> yeah well on the bright side everyone does want to hear more of you so when you eventually work up to having four tv shows and three podcasts you will have your audience 
No, Kim, no. <laughs> you do not get on the screen. Bad Kim. I have control of the screen too. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the this is the vibe we've got, y'all. This is the mood. It's more that I just want to talk to more authors. And so I just like look for excuses to do that. <laughs> well, start with your little five minute author chats. I think that will give you plenty to do. That would and be... you'll get to talk to like 365. Yeah. Well, I would just do weekdays. Like I need some time off. <laughs> I can't do that math. What is that? Someone do that math. What is a year of just weekdays? I don't know. I'm sure someone knows. Oh, <laughs> fighting. It's more. Uh, I'm attempting to preserve Sarah's sense of self and well-being. Yeah. And Sarah's pulling the Harry Potter, where you're like Harry, no, and he's like Harry, yes, and then he like flings himself on a sword or something. Yeah, that sounds like me. I think that makes me the the mom or dad friend here, and you are all terrible. Uh, what's the word? Influences? No. Enablers. No. <laughs> Terrible enabling children. Children. I enablers. I don't have any swords. I'm a minimalist. Swords aren't Gen useful. Jennifer? Right? Jennifer, Jennifer is on my side. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Kim well, is not I'll invited. <laughs> <laughs> Kim's going to start a new podcast with me. That will be my Yo, I have to put out. An episode a week this month and I'm not sleeping. That is a lot. That is a lot. Why do you think I do live shows? Then I don't have to edit. I couldn't do that. I need full and complete control at all times. <laughs> there oh, go. Kim will do the weekend episodes of your author chat. Mm. All right. Well, um, speaking of, I got some stuff to do tonight. So, <laughs> uh, like, please, okay. please good. goodbye to all of you. And thank you all so much for coming today and coming back of the week and uh, motivating me to get some writing done. Yes, do a Coastal Magic podcast. That would be so fun. You know, my the person I'm dating is a podcast producer. So where's Kim going? I don't have any answers. Um, he will. Yes, he's a very good podcast teacher, unlike some people. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> it's not me. She's not talking about me. But no, Sarah's a delight. Joy and sunshine every waking hour. Ooh, <laughs> don't say that. All right. <laughs> They're just so good with you. Bye, everyone. Oh, okay. that makes sense. <laughs> oh, Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. I see why you're. I forgot about Arizona. Yeah, it's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern, no matter what time 8 p.m. is where you are. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Jay is your new scheduling uh, assistant. I so I do really enjoy when there's a fifth Saturday in the month because it really does feel like I have like a little extra time off. Um, but then it, that makes me think I have like more time than I do. And then I procrastinate too much. So it's a mixed bag. Oh, what's your pod podcast? Yes. Tell us everything. I have a list of writing and book focus podcasts on Podchaser. They're also linked on my website. So if you go to my website, you can see the, all the links. Um, here, I'll send them to you now. Mine is not writing related at all. But I'm an old hand at this at this point. <laughs> Fun fact, Kevin has trouble differentiating between old hand and old hat. Oh, yeah. What is the difference? Uh, old hand means you are experienced and practiced something. Old hat means it is boring and passe. So oh. <laughs> being called old sure hat. <laughs> just, yeah, using those interchangeably. Chandra, you got to tell us. I, yes. I want to know. Let us know. So I put that list, that thing, the resources for writers. If you go there, there's a list. It says a list of writing and publishing podcasts and a list of bookish podcasts. So you can get to those from there.
There's like a lot. No, people like to talk about things and people like to learn about things. Laura wants and to know what your podcast is about. Best. Great. Uh, I play Harry Potter music, Wizard Rock, for half an hour, and then I do other stuff. <laughs> like uh, I do Wandascopes and upcoming events. Oh. Well, I'm hooked. Yeah. Let me know when that comes out. I want to listen to that. Yeah, wow. I want to listen to that too. Um. Yeah, the only thing about the schedule, Jay, is like a lot of agents can't do Saturday night, so I'm trying to keep that a little more flexible. Uh, Sarah, do link things? I, I don't know how to do the link. What do you need a link for? Oh, for WZRD? I have to warn you, it's not on Spotify. They will not let me on. <laughs> really? Yeah, they, they kicked me off after a month. Uh, I play right. too much music to be a podcast, and I don't oh. actually create enough music to be a musician. What do you want me to link to? Uh, the website. The About Us page has a lot of places that you can listen what to. What is it. the website? WZRD Radio Pod at WordPress. Okay. That's my, yeah, at WordPress.com. I can do it only in my announcer voice. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, I got it. There you go. All right. And then when Chandra's comes out, we should all listen to that too. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, the trailer. Okay, so it's <gasps> called what? Cult Evaded. Oh, Chandra, get on um, Stitcher. I use Stitcher. I found it on Instagram, I think. The trailer? Um, I, the account. All right. Anyway, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Um, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully. Bye.